Father and daughter were both shot dead this afternoon during the course of a robbery at their Beto Piscos Demara home. There is Aaron Latchman and his daughter Ariana Latchman. Both received gunshot wounds and were pronounced dead at the Georgian Public Hospital. The businessman's wife and younger daughter had to be consoled by family members and colleagues. The scene became very emotional as more persons converged on the scene to offer condolences while neighbors and other villagers gathered in disbelief. Neighbors speaking to this newscast said the bandits joined a waiting car in their escape. I, when I wake up and I peek through, look through the window, I see a neighbor man running away and an Indian man running. They run and, and they had a car waiting for the road eh? They jump in the car, a white 212, and they speed up. I know how far they go, but they got the... The tire shop, they, they got cameras, apparently, they might have um, got footage. So they took money from them? Yeah, they might have a whole bag of money. And why is they running money for you know? See, Division Commander Calvin Bruto said their initial reports indicated that two armed men punks on the businessman and his daughter. From all indication is that he traveled from Georgetown home and as he entered into his yard to park, he was pounced upon by two males, both armed with firearm. A struggle ensued between himself and the suspects where some rounds were discharged. Uh, Mr. Aaron and Ariano were shot multiple times and they were rushed to the hospital by public citizens and they were pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. When this news has arrived at the businessman's home, police investigators had already cordoned off the area and were processing the crime scene. The commander said the police are tracking every lead and will be looking at the surveillance cameras from around the area. From what we receive is that as the suspect fled the scene, cash fell long along the route as they went to access their car. Um, one madam was taken into custody because she took some of the cash and had it in our possession. We were here, she said nothing to us. And until we heard learned of it and confront her, then um, she did admit and produce what she had in her bag. Um, someone... Well, two males. The police investigations into the killings are ongoing. So far, no arrests have been made.